Sorry for leaving you, Joey. Where are we now, kid? I don't know, but I don't like it. The sooner we get out of here, the better. I will feed his cat, because I am not a monstrous person. It's a food dispenser. Cat's been fed. It's titled Pussies on Parade. That would be ugh. that is clearly meant as a double entendre. A very, very bad double entendre. I didn't picture Lamb as a reader of books. That's pathetic. I could do better. I'd like that if it wasn't for the fluffy sheep. The artist must have been on something. Might have guessed Lamb would have a TV screen like that. Big, showy, and ostentatious. And nowadays, big TV screens are relatively inexpensive. I've never seen anything so green. Apparently not even in the gap. Okay, I did. Oh no! Joey must have forgotten he'd changed shells. I hope his board isn't broken. I ought to move that trash. It's too heavy to carry. Do you know the woman with the dog? Oh yes, that's Mrs. Piermont, the richest woman in Union City, and the ugliest. What's through that door? It's off limits to the likes of you. I just wondered where it leads. It's the old cathedral. There's nothing interesting in there. In fact, it's empty. Why guard an empty cathedral? <laughs> I'm not guarding it exactly. I'm just standing here. Preventing me from entering. Yes. Making a minor adjustment. What's the best way out of the city? There isn't a way out. Then the inhabitants are no better than prisoners. That's the price of progress. Never mind. Excuse me. Hello, darling. I don't believe we've met. No, I'm a stranger here. I'm Mrs. Piermont. But you can call me Danielle. Do you know someone called Overman? Why, yes, I do. 
He worked with my husband, Professor Piermont. Really? Why? Are you interested in Overmont? He was my father. I'm sorry, but I don't believe you. Overman's only son died in an accident. That was no accident, Mrs. Piermont. It was deliberate sabotage by security. My mother was killed, but I survived. And I've read a document which proves it. Incredible! Your mother was a great friend to me. If there's any way I can help you, just ask. How do I get out of the city? Now, why would you want to do that? Because uh, people are trying to kill There's me. nothing in the gap but sand and savages. But that's where I live. Ooh, how ghastly for you, my dear. What's the mutt's name? Well, really, he is not a mutt. He's purebred. His name is Spunky. He looks just like his owner. What do you mean by that? He's really cute and fluffy. Flattery will get you nowhere, young man. I want to say Never mind. Hello, who are you? My name's Vincent, what's yours? I'm Robert. You can call me Rob. What's that you're playing with? It's my handheld games console. Neat. What's the game? It's called Fleecy the Lamb. That sounds nice. What's the objective? Torch the mutant psychos with your flamethrower and stop Dante Mantis from butchering the orphans. But that's horrible. Yeah, I've played better. What other games have you got? I like Not the many, because they're too expensive. They're smuggled into the city from Hobart. I've got Nobby, the platform game, Onan the Barbarian, and Revenge of the Deadly Dandelions. I suppose they keep you out of mischief. Uh, I guess this is the... I'll take what I can get, because it runs on the same chipset as the ZX Spectrum. Why aren't you at school, Vincent? My tutor's malfunctioned. I've tried to reprogram it to play video games. Uh-huh. Would you like me to repair your tutor? Ah, oh, I can do that myself. But then I'd have to go back to my studies. Do you know a man called Overman? No, Rob. Why do you want to know? He's my dad. Aren't you a little old to have a dad? Last time I saw him, I was a little boy. I was taken away to the Gap. The Gap? Oh, wow! I'd like to escape to the Gap. I'm tired of being told what to do. Do you know the woman with the dog? That's Mrs. Pimmel, and she's a pig. Oh, yeah, Dad. That's not a very nice thing to say. Well, she tried to confiscate my console. She gave me a lecture and tried to force me to join the junior security call. He's probably going to try and knock me out. Don't wear out your thumbs. Excuse me. Smart floral display. Are they real? What do you think? They look kind of shiny. Naturally. I've just varnished them. Do you paint the flowers too? This is Union City, not Wonderland. You obviously know nothing about plants. Won't the varnish harm the plants? Au contraire, Clever Dick. It filters out the crap in the atmosphere. What are those blue flowers called? They're dandelions. Don't touch them! Dandelions aren't They're pretty. Blue. But why can't I touch them? 
because if you do, you'll wet your bed. I haven't done that for months. What are you doing to that plant? I'm modeling a living sculpture. It's called topiary, and it's an art form. See you later. Talking to guard again to see if I can get a dialogue prompt. Nope. Never mind. I've exhausted all my dialogue with you. has an old-fashioned lock on it. Excuse me. Hold it. Your uh, membership card, please? I don't have one. This is a private club. Oh, I didn't know that. You do now. Peace off. How do I join the club? You have to be sponsored by an existing member. Uh -huh. It's a most exclusive establishment. Frequented only by those with the proper credentials. You mean people with money? No. People with credit. There's a world of difference. People with money think they can afford not to care. People with credit know they can't, but don't care anyway. Do you know anyone who'd sponsor me? Mm, what about old widow Piermont? She used to come here, oh, years ago. If you chatted her up, she might sponsor you. What goes on in the club? If I was to tell you that this club provides recreational facilities par excellence for a clientele with elegance and taste, I'd be lying through my teeth. You just said it was exclusive. Well, it is exclusive, but seedy. Charming. The reason people come here is the cheap booze. And the fact that it's off limits to security. Uh -huh. Smart shoes. Oh, thanks. You can tell a lot from a man's shoes. The design tells you what kind of man he is. The way he cares for them tells you where he's going. And what he's trodden in tells you where he's been. See you later. Smart shoes line. Did that be thinking of six string samurai? And like, oh, I'm going to. I'm not gonna have to kill this guy for his shoes, am I? Excuse me. Would you sponsor me for the club? If you're really Robert Overman, I'll sponsor you. But I don't want to visit the club. I'll call the manager from my apartment. Okay, there we go. Come to Mummy Spunky. Oh, please tell me he's not hung up on, uh, geography. There we go. No, he's just really slow. Really, really slow. 
come to mommy's punky. It's the call button for an apartment. Hello! Who is this? It's me, Robert. Come right in, Rob. Welcome to my humble little home. Remember you as a baby, Robert. I've grown a bit since then. I'm sure you have. You must Ooh. have so many questions to ask me. Yes, I have. What was the professor working on? Didn't I tell you? Helmet was the designer of Link. He uploaded his brain. It was his dream. But he died before it was realized. Your father became the project leader. Oh. Helmet was a uh, helmet. Her husband was Sandra Blink. Died before it was finished. Robert, uh, the character's father, finished Link. Uploaded his consciousness into the system. Okay. So my dad was responsible for Link? Yes. He stepped into Helmut's shoes. Link reached completion on the very day you were born. From then on, Richard changed. He spent more time with Link than he did with his wife and baby. Is my father still alive? I've not seen him since my husband's funeral. What a magnificent occasion. I wish I could have stayed until the end. You walked out of your husband's funeral? I had no choice. Poor Spunky hates cathedrals. So, All that people. incense and droning makes him bilious. No sooner had I got him outside than up came his breakfast. It's a good thing he didn't chuck in church. Don't interrupt, darling. I'm telling you something. Well, when I got back, they were all gone. Congregation, choir, coffin and all. Interesting. Why did my mother try to escape? But she did her best to kill. But she wasn't the same after Richard's rejection. The authorities never approved of her marriage either. Because she came from Hobart. Eventually, she decided to return home. So the bastards had her killed. You're overwrought, Robert. Would you like some paracetamol? I'm good. Thanks. I don't want analgesic. I want answers. Are you going to sponsor me now? If that's what you want. I'll telephone the manager and make the arrangement. This won't take a moment. Is that Mr. Coulston? Danielle Pierrot. I have a friend I wish to sponsor. It's full of biscuits and dog drool. Okay, that is... 